All right, guys, we got episode 11 against Wonder Boy Thompson, our uh, first welterweight title defense. Our boy Wonder Boy is 25 and 1. He's 6 foot with a 75 inch reach. So we have a 1 inch height advantage on him. Um, in training camp, I learned my favorite move, the spinning back fist. Uh, so we don't have to use that lead lead spinning back fist anymore. We can just do the set it up with a left jab into a spinning back fist. Um, with Wonder Boy, we don't have to worry as much about the ground game as we did with uh, Usman, but uh, we got to be careful with his uh, stand-up game. You know, he's a veteran of the sport. He's been around the block. He knows the ins and outs, but should be a relatively easy fight. Uh, Y'all have seen the, the entrances, the intros, so I'm going to go ahead and skip right to the fight. Let's get down to business. All right, so without further delay, here we go. Round one is no glove tap from the nicest dude. That uppercut, man. No, uh, no glove tap from the nicest dude in the UFC. That's all right. Yeah, this is going to be an easy fight. That one-two uppercut, though, that's le lethal. Cartwheel kick was wide open. Trying to get a spinning elbow because he's leaving his head open, but he's a bit fast for that. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Gets the elbow up into the target. Who well, we ducked that question mark kick hit us in the kidney? We're really talking about stamina. We're two minutes into the fight. Ooh, that would have been huge. Boy, he's ducking everything. If we can get him to the ground, we can control this fight for sure. But we might not have to. Ooh, he rocked us. He got us good with that right hook. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the Can we get the takedown? I've been working on my takedowns. I don't know why it doesn't let us. Oh, he stuffed it there. Best to ever do it, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture in the intensity at which he throws these ground strikes. He's starting to get the takedown. Start to elevate because he knows that he We're going to try and submit him here. I know we can. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow. I hate this bar thing. I love the circle one is easier. Okay, he's gonna slam out of it. Forty seconds left in the fight or in the first round in the fight. Our stamina is real low, actually. Ooh. What happened here? All right, we got to watch our stamina, but that was a decent first round. I'm trying to take him down. It's telling me to tr take him down. I, I try. Ooh, that was not good. We were facing, our back was facing him. This with an uppercut. This is. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike landed. Yeah, we got to take this fight to the ground. Oh, great head movement there. He's Steve giving us looks on the feet. I didn't think he could. That's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement right or left to get out of the way to avoid the ball. 
Oh. <laughs> See, that's where that veteran comes in. He saw us swaying and he just left hooked it into a. We swayed left and he left hooked us. That's. He's got the one of the best spacing techniques I've seen. See, I'm trying to take him down. Yeah, our stamina is real well. We gotta, we gotta try and end it this round, or we're gonna run out of stamina. There we go. That'll take it to the ground. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. If we can get to back sitting, we can rear naked choke. And I'll definitely get that submission, but it's a matter of if we can get there. Okay, here we go. Defend our transition and then go into the... Okay, we'll do bulldog choke. We can... Here we go. Hands are sweating. <laughs> I can't move you. It's gonna be close. We got it. Easy. Let's go. Sorry, Wonder Boy. I don't mean to put you out like that. But there we go. We got a submission. Showing the welterweight division that we're not just a boxer. It was a good fight, though. I mean, we blew all our stamina way too early, but for the two rounds it lasted, I feel like it was pretty even. Wonder Boy even rocked us a couple of times. Oh, that bulldog choke is nasty. I mean, you have all the leverage, and you just squeeze in their neck. That's tough. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still the undefeated. Alright, we got one title defense on our on our belt, welterweight belt. Made 2.7 mil. I wonder who's next. Uh, regardless of who we fight next, uh, I'm going to start a rivalry with one of either Covington or Masvidal. Um, you guys can see here our longevity. So uh, the super fight was probably the peak of our career. So from here on out, we're going to have to deal with some longevity issues. Um, you know, it just takes away certain amount of uh, stars on certain moves and health health factors but nothing you can't revert with uh, some training we're still we're still we still plan on being the top dog for quite a bit but on the back half of our career now entering our prime or probably just in our prime All right, who's next? Oh, new contract. Let's see our options. Exit three fights without an injury, gain 50,000 fans. We want a big bonus. Finish four opponents in the first round. Defend belt four times. Prestige two moves. See, complete three fights with more than a million pay-per-view buys. I don't know, you know, I don't know how to even accomplish that other than fight hype. Um, fight of the night. These are all past. I think we're going to do the defend your belt four times. 
I mean, we don't plan on losing anytime soon, so we'll go with that one. I think it said six fight contract. Looks like Tiago Santos defended his belt. Bring a real contender. Yeah, he did. I'm not sure who he fought, though. Um, Alright, who's next? For our 20th win? Okay, RDA. I like it. Number two. Uh, probably his last title shot would be my guess. He's 43. We'll give him a fight. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start a, like I said, Alakita retired. Boy, the lightweights are falling off. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Yeah, this division's getting thinner and thinner. Welterweight's still, uh, pretty good. Stephen Thompson's the number one contender still. That's funny. Usman's three. Covington and Masvidal five and six. I wouldn't mind finding Edwards or Burns next either. But I'm going to start. I think I'm going to go after Colby first. Um, or no. I'm going to go after Jorge first because he's older. And then we'll do Colby two after that. Alright, I'm going to train and I'll get back to you guys. All right, we got a fight week against RDA. Uh, we're continuing our uh, streak of beating these older guys. Um, RDA, jiu-jitsu fighter, number two contender. Uh, he's five foot eight, so we have a big height advantage. Um, and like I said previously, we started a rivalry with Jorge. Um, did two sparring sessions with him and knocked him out both times, so. You know, he's definitely going to be wanting that fight here soon. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's fight RDA. for the UFC welterweight division title. Again, y'all have seen the intros. I don't need to bore you too much. If it's a big fight, I'll let the intros play, but... Uh, Alright, right, here we go. I'm going to sort of play defensive. He likes light kicks, so we'll give him a steady... Steady amount of different looks. He can do so again tonight, and here and still, he could go down as one of the greatest 170. Sort of go, you know, a little sequence and back out, draw him in, and then maybe catch him off guard with something. He's looking for some big shots. Oh, that could have been bad. When he ducks like that and hits you with a body shot, that can be bad sometimes. Big, big knee. Got to keep our spacing, try and keep this on the feet. Keeping great distance right now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Straight to the body by Miller. Double Get a takedown, that's big. Good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. 
It's ideal. His ideal situation oh, just wow, he got up he got easily. Shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. I want to hit that spinning roundhouse eventually. To throw, but but this is if like it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whipping like this. Big question mark awesome. kick. We can leg kick. I guarantee my leg kicks hurt more than yours do. <laughs> Let's see if we can work some ground and pound. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to pull him. Yep. We'll probably end this round on the ground. Final seconds of round one. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works All right, not much control. in that last 20 seconds, but that's all right. We had a great first round, I feel like. Can hit him with a spinning heel kick off for it. Oh, he ducked it. That's impressive. Keep giving him a steady, steady amount of body strikes. Oh, there it connected. Ooh, wow. You must have heard my comment about body and leg kicks. <laughs> that one, that one hurt something bad. Yeah, you can see how a guy's moving. He's hurt. It's all right, though. We have. We're doing great with the spacing still. I don't know how that kick didn't connect, but his his hurt us real bad. Get some ground and pound in the full guard. Oh, we put some damage on him. Lift on a leg kick. Spinning elbow. That shot is blocked by RDA. Stuffs our takedown attempt. Gets a takedown in his himself. Bring it right back to the feet. At first, you don't succeed. You try, try again. And this guy is the most oh, right kicks. He's lethal. And he finally has secured it. That knee was big. Boy, that, he, he, he's hurting our leg. We gotta be careful. Watch for that leg kick. We were ready for it there. Oh, I thought I stuffed that. Alright, round two. We got we got pieced up pretty pretty badly, honestly. He hit us with some leg real bad leg kicks, some body shots. I'm gonna hit him with the spinning heel kick again, see if it hits this time. Oh he wants to touch close. Not connected, but it's not a whole lot of damage. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good punch, land. He's blocking a lot. 
There's a knee. Alright, put the pressure on. Come on, stand up. I don't want to go to the ground. Back to the feet. Ducks up. We stopped the takedown. There we go. Spinning back fist. Uppercut. Alright, be careful with our stamina. Can we get a takedown? Nope. He stuffs it. There it is. Spinning. Spinning around us. Love to see it. Got him with a spinning back. This again. We're going to hit him again. Same thing. Watch. Come on, get up. Oh, couldn't stuff that one. <laughs> Big takedown. He's getting some good ground and pound shots in. It's all right, though. Beautiful movement. Just work, work on, on getting this back to the feet. She is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. I mean, how many can he take? Taking a lot of damage here, but that's all right. He's putting him in exactly the position. Looking for a submission there. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground. Oh, he put it. He, he's putting a lot of damage on us. He can get up though. Big. That was huge. There it is. Question mark kick knockout. Oof. Six seconds left in the third. That was big. Wow, what a knockout. That spinning back fist had him. He, I mean, his time was coming. He fell forward. I thought that was it. But then. Hit him with the question mark kick. Oof. She is neck so just there he is, the bending half. Welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano saw the stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. All right, let's see if... Uh, Masvidal is next. Longevity is starting to go down more rapidly. I'd like to get 35 fights probably. Then maybe call it retirement, but we'll see. You know, if we end up... The older we get, the harder it's going to be to stay undefeated, so... Uh, we'll see if we can remain undefeated. If we get a loss, uh, might stay a bit longer. We're definitely ending on top. I can tell you that. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. I think that'll be it for episode 11. Um, let's check out who we're going to be fighting in episode 12. Though we move up to 20 and 0, big milestone. And we have, <laughs> of course, yeah, we started a rivalry with Masvidal instead of Covington. 
and we're going to end up fighting Covington. Um, I could decline, but I, I can't pass up this fight. That's a huge fight versus Covington. We might end up getting both Masvidal and Covington. Make sure Masvidal hasn't retired yet. Okay, so he's six. Um, but yeah, I mean, we fought the type... After this fight, we'll have fought the top four. You know, I'm not really interested in an Askren fight right now. Masvidal or Nick Diaz probably the next up. But, uh... Yeah, that'll be it for episode 12. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. Or, er, sorry, I said episode 12. That'll be it for episode 11. Uh, I'll see you guys in episode 12. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.